What's going on boys and girls? What's up world? Austin John plays here and today I'm going to be going over all the clothing and customization options for you and your partner Pokemon in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. <laughs> So we're gonna get fabulous! In Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, you probably know that you could customize your trainer and your partner Pokemon. I wasn't a big fan of it until I found this outfit right here, but I'm gonna be going over every single piece by piece for all the clothing that you get in the story, all the hidden articles of clothing, and all of the articles of clothing and accessories that you can purchase, but not preview before you purchase, so it's a great thing to see this video. For all the outfits that you get at a specific place in the game, I'm also going to be including the location on where you can get them. First we have the default sports outfit that you get at the very beginning of the game, including the blue backpack and Pikachu in the simple cap with the Pokeball symbol matching you and the matching sweatshirt. I'm going to be going over the Pikachu versions of all these clothing, not the Eevee versions, since the Eevee versions don't show as much of the clothing and they're very similar in the first place, so it's fine. The next outfit that you get from your first visit to the SSN is the Sailor outfit, which sports this beautiful white and blue sweatshirt for both Pikachu and for Trainer. And the Pokeball symbol on the back looks like a life preserver. Awesome. Next up is the formal outfit that you're going to be getting in Lavender Town on the first floor of the Pokemon Tower. And Pikachu is in a bowler cap with a black vest and a white button up, as well as the trainer yourself. The formal backpack, great words, is a beautiful leather. And the weirdest part is that the pants are called formal shorts. I would like to purchase formal shorts. They must be comfy and easy to wear. One of my favorite mid-game outfits is the assistant outfit. For Pikachu, you sport this rakish white bowler cap and a white button-up with a blue undershirt, as well as your trainer with the pop collar and the black and brown leather bag with purple accents. It's a full white outfit, and I think it looks pretty awesome. You get it from one of Professor Oak's associates at this location, after registering 50 different species of Pokemon in your Pokedex. Another one of my favorite outfits is this Safari outfit that you get from the Warden when learning about the secret ability Strength, which sports a khaki-colored button-up, as well as cap, and camo shorts and shoes, and the backpack also sports a camo-style color. And is that what a Safari Ball looked like? Yep, that's what a Safari Ball looks like. You have that camo color on top and the white on the bottom, a nice callback to the old games. It's also worth mentioning that uh, my Pikachu has a red bow on the tail. That's how I know it's mine. That way I don't get mixed up with other Pikachus, so you may see a red bow on the tail. The police outfit you get after chasing out Team Rocket from Silphco in this location right here. Right next to the gym in the city. And your trainer has a policeman outfit. Or policewoman outfit, because there's only Officer Jennies and there's no males, so I'm confused on how that works. Which is a blue button-up with white accents and red accents on the outside. And the cap sports the police logo as well as the backpack and Pikachu's cap as well. And this logo kind of reminds me of the vault Tech logo from the Fallout series. Upon your first visit to Vermilion City, you can get yourself the Pikachu set for yourself. Which gives you a yellow outfit and a Pikachu backpack, a Pikachu hat with the tail coming off of the back yellow and black shoes, some orange accents, and the pockets of your pants are then matching Pikachu's cheeks. Which then makes his mouth here. Okay, moving on. That outfit, as well as the outfit I'm about to show you, are got in Vermilion City by the Pokemon Fan Club President. The first time you visit him, you get this Pikachu set. However, after you achieve maximum friendship level with your Pikachu, which for me was after I beat the Elite Four, I don't know if that's related at all, you can get yourself the Raichu outfit. The Raichu caps sport number 26 in a Raichu color scheme for both you and Pikachu. The back of Pikachu's hat now has Raichu's tail on it, which is pretty dope. And I think my favorite part about this outfit altogether is that the Raichu T now makes Pikachu in Raichu's color scheme, which I think is pretty awesome. It's also a great time to point out that in the early development of the 
artist's rendering of the first generation of Pokemon. Pikachu was originally drawn with a white circle in the middle of its body, and that was then removed in some artist's rendition of Pikachu. However, Raichu retains that white circle. Interesting, huh? It's also worth noting that if you are playing Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, that instead of the Raichu set, you get a full set of all the Eeveelutions, not just first gen. You get Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, Espeon, Umbreon, Leafeon, Glaceon, and Sylveon. Next up is by far my favorite outfit, which is the Team Rocket outfit. After you clear out the Rocket hideout, you can speak to the Team Rocket spy who is fairly easy to get to, and you get a full Team Rocket outfit. The gorgeous spy also goes on to explain to you that Team Rocket will not confuse you with a Rocket grunt because you are far too short. And probably because you're 11 years old. The next outfit you're going to get after completing the game and defeating the Elite Four, if you make your way to Route 17, close to where just south of where the evolution trainers are, you're going to be finding Jesse and James, and they propose if you want to join Team Rocket. I vote yes, you should join Team Rocket because not only do they have great health benefits, they have paid time off and opportunities for moving up within the company. Did I mention how great the fire insurance is? After you run in with Jesse and James for the last time in this game, you're then going to get the blast off outfit, which for the male trainer is going to be this purple hat and purple belt with these red shoes for some reason, and her regular looking backpack. And if we bring in the female trainer, she looks like Jessie, and I think that's pretty awesome. Her hat then has Jessie's hair color, the backpack has the same accents, and the belt, oh, the belt's also purple. Is Jessie's belt purple? Or did they decide to make the shoes red and the belt purple? I'm not too sure. But I think the individual colors for the male and female trainer are a great touch. Pikachu does not get an outfit variation of this. On to the hats for your partner Pokemon. All of these hats can be purchased at the Celadon department store. The first one and the only one you should ever purchase is the Diglett cap, which then puts a small Diglett on your partner's head. And it's adorable, because then it's a Diglett on your partner on you. Love it. For the individual hats, you have a straw hat, which has a very nice beach feel to it. You have a sweet hat, which is just a fancy last hat. And you have an elegant hat, which is a nice red and black color. And then the most expensive item in the entire game, costing $999,999, is the crown. Why it costs that much, I have no idea. It better be made of real gold. And that is the crown on Pikachu's head. I want a crown. I want your crown back. I had to sell off all of my inventory, all of the rare items I got in the game, in order to get this crown. I've heard it looks better on Eevee than it does on Pikachu. There's also a variety of glasses that you can get for your partner Pokemon, including the black framed glasses, the red framed glasses, the green framed glasses. Uh, also, these glasses don't wrap around, they just magically float on the front of their face. And brown framed glasses. We also have thick glasses, which, big fan of these. This reminds me of, uh, of uh, the professor from Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Blue sky glasses, that's a reference to the original games. Dawn sunglasses, dusk sunglasses, and midnight sunglasses. All of the lichen rock forms. The midnight sunglasses are also pretty awesome. I'm gonna stick with the thick glasses. There's also a wide variety of bandanas and bows that you can put on your partner Pokemon. However, there's literally so many and so many places that you can put them and I find they're pretty underwhelming, unfortunately. So if that's something you really want, then go for it. They're not that expensive. I'm not gonna be showing those off. Back to my Raichu t-shirt, my thick glasses, my crown. And for my character, we are going to go back to the Team Rocket cap, because it's all black, the Team Rocket top, the Team Rocket shorts, and the blast off shoes with the red bottoms. Oh, and for the bag, probably the assistant bag. And we'll just ignore that the purple is there. Ooh, the formal looks nice. Yeah, I know I know black and brown is a little clashing, but I still love it. So yeah, guys, that's going to be wrapping up all of the trainer and partner Pokemon customizations for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I hope you make your character look fabulous. If you learned something new or found this entertaining, be sure to leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.